Holy heck, here we are in Sydney's Hoyt's Entertainment Quarter. Uh, we just checked out Fifty Shades Darker. I want you back. I'm not very good at this. I've never wanted to try again. Oh, no, no. It's the sequel. We left off in a really hard place for the couple. They had seen bad things, they broke up. But does anyone care? And is Fifty Shades Darker any good? Nick, what do you think? No, no, I mean, <laughs> I, I haven't seen the, uh, the previous one. Um, and I think I might have needed to because there are a few little gaps. We're trying to work out who's who. But uh, no, it was just, um, yeah, not very entertaining really. It was, it was like they used sex as a full stop for every sentence. Every time they got together, it's like, oh, hi, let's go for a coffee. Shagging. <laughs> then cut to next scene, you know, it, it's very repetitive and yeah, pretty boring. Well, we'll catch up on the story. Basically, Dakota Johnson's character, Anna, has broken up with uh, Christian Grey and she's kind of deciding, do I want to get back with him? Do I want to start this new career in book editing or do I just want to live my life without the Christian Grey? And you know what she decides to do? She just has to get back with him. What a surprise. Spoiler. Because there's other two other books, so it's got to happen <laughs> somewhere. This is basically a porno with a plot. Um, it's the simplest way of, just, the simplest <laughs> yeah, way of discussing it, right? I wouldn't even say the plot. It's just, you know. I've seen porn with better plots yes. in some cases. Yes. Yeah, but it's one of those things where you're kind of like, who's writing this? Who, who's it for? Who's, it, who's, this, who's the demographic for this movie? Is, is it the weird, seedy old dudes that just like going to movies like Pee Wee Herman and watching porn by themselves? Or is it for women that need a break from their reality? Or is it for men that like nudity? I have no idea who I, the demographic for this movie is. I who is it out. made for? No, because she was topless most of the time. Right. There was no dong for the ladies but, or people who like dong. But being a male, I did not care for her whatsoever. He spends a lot of his time in this movie down on her, which is yeah, like a lot. For someone that is meant to be dominating is that the word dominating her yeah she's dominating him like yeah. she's in control of this movie she, she knows what's, know what's happening going on though she's she's an aggressive character then she's not and then she's all over the and she's like i don't want you but then i do yeah. and then who are these mm. people you've been with oh should i care about them yeah. yes i do but then oops i don't what's going on yeah it's, what's the best and what's the worst part for you uh, the best moments for me was the humour, like the unintentional humour. I could see they were trying to make you laugh a few times, but there were moments where you just started laughing because it was so awkward. It was like watching a Bold and the Beautiful episode. Kim Basinger would just stand in the corner, people would have a conversation, and she'd literally step into the shadow. Go, Hello. <laughs> and she's like, what? Do you know what we're doing? And, it's, and the, the people in the background just made no sense. So that no. definitely the best bit then. Um, yeah, for me it was just the humour. Um, the worst right. part was Dakota um, Johnson. It's all right. She's yeah. forgettable. It's fine. Is, I'm not yeah. judging you. So you're watching Dakota Johnson. She would just ask so many stupid questions. I didn't think she was actually even in the first movie. She was. It's like she hadn't seen anything before. She's like, yeah. Oh, is this your room? Oh, can I not touch you there? Oh, what does this do? Oh, who's he? Who's that? And I'm like, she's as new to the film as I am. Right. I'm okay. going to talk about my worst bit, and that has to be, this is going to be a potential spoiler, but really it adds nothing to the film, and it's just really this tiny plot device that happens for no apparent reason. And that's them being in the, um, in the helicopter crash while they're yeah. in Portland. And it's not, it's not with Dakota Johnson. She's at, she's at home in New York. Where, are they, where do they live? Chicago? Seattle. Seattle, that's right. She, uh, Seattle. And she's at home looking after herself in Christian's house and... All of a sudden, Christian's on a helicopter with, him, with one of his workmates and something happens and they start crashing into the, the, um, the forests of Portland. And, um, you know, the characters start getting worried. They all have a meet up at Christian's house and like, what's happening to Christian? What's happening to Christian? And literally two minutes later, he shows up and he's yeah. fine. And, yeah. and then like, the parents leave. That's the best part. Yeah. It's like, oh my God, my son's here. And it's like, let's give him some time alone. And yeah. after like five seconds with him, they everyone piss off. And, and his friends. So yeah. everyone just leaves. So, yeah. Maybe that's a part of the book that was like an extended scene that we haven't seen. But for the movie side of it, it was bonkers <laughs> and made no sense. It was, it was over quicker than a sex scene. It was just like, right, yeah, oh, I I'm agree. in jeopardy. Bang. Oh, I'm alive again. Great. And he literally just walked in with like a bit of blood down his, you know, side yeah. of his head. And but that's like, well, surely he would have seen an emergency team when they were found. Wouldn't have they have said, you have to spend a night in hospital. You just were in a fucking plane crash. Like, you can't He's just leave. Air. I'm He's sorry. That's he, not he how things work. And pissed off. It probably yeah. did. That's right. So, what was your best bit? Uh, my best bit. That's that's hard to find. I <laughs> look. To be honest, I have no idea. 
I don't actually know a best bit, but one bit I found interesting that um, in the film was that Danny Elfman scores this movie, and yeah. there's not much scoring to it. It's, it's all commercial music. So it makes it's me all... think, what happened to Danny Elfman? Why is he stooped this low to do this movie? Is he getting probably gets paid a lot? I'd imagine, yeah. But he did man. the one before as well. Did he? Yeah. Okay, you wouldn't be able to tell. Danny Elfman's got a very unique sound, I'd almost say, and yeah, there's nothing to this, this movie. There's nothing to this movie. I don't know who it's made for. I don't know who wants to see it. Like, I get that there's people that just, you know, like dominating people, but there's none of that in this movie either. Like, it's just straight. You know, all in all, all in all, don't waste your money. It's another one of our big no's. Uh, but you know, if I'm just trying to think of why you may see this movie. If you, girls night out. If you've got a Valentine's Day and you want to take your boyfriend, oh, your that. girlfriend, maybe go. I yeah, guess. Yeah. But there's so much better out there that you could be watching right now. It's Oscar season. Go see something from the Oscars. Don't go see this movie. Avoid it like the plague. And watch out for sexually transmitted diseases because you might get them on the seats if you see this movie. Um, <laughs> uh, Don't watch it with your parents. No! God, no! Never watch this with your parents. That'd be awkward as hell. And that's all from us tonight. That was Fifty Shades Darker. Um, if you like what you see here, you know, you can hit the subscribe button. You can comment below if you've seen the movie. Let us know what you thought. Let us know what you think of us. If you hate us, you know, we don't really care. Just let us know. I we'll do. talk back to you. Oh, he's got feelings. It'd be nice. Um, you know, uh, and, you know, we'll probably see you in the cinema. So share, like, love movies. And until next time, I'm Ryan. I'm Nick. And that's us at So Isn't Any Good. Thank you so much for checking this video out. Bye -bye.